Unfortunately, as you know, in too many cases, your goodness and perseverance were met with indifference and betrayal in some cases. Uh, Biden and FEMA said they would not send federal aid to East Palestine under any circumstance. Mm -mm. Yes, Donald Trump visited East Palestine, Ohio today. But for fact's sake, let's get something straight about what he said. The train derailment happened on February 3rd. And according to the White House, personnel from the EPA were there before dawn the next day. By the way, if Trump's narrative sounds familiar, it is probably because it is the same stuff, the lies, that Fox News is dishing out. Multiple hosts there have suggested East Palestine isn't getting proper attention because it's largely a white conservative community. That is not true. But we know that thanks to those Dominion court documents, all sorts of Fox News hosts are very comfortable saying things on TV that they know isn't true. Joining me now to discuss Jay Rosen, NYU Associate Professor of Journalism. Jay, you wrote something recently, a long, pretty thoughtful Twitter thread, really detailing that Fox News isn't a news organization, but what it really is. Mm -hmm. Can you share that? Yeah, I see Fox as the commercial wing of the MAGA movement that has overtaken the Republican Party. And what it makes is resentment news, who to resent, what's new and different to resent. And that kind of product, resentment news, can also become a source of power. And so Fox News is kind of tricky to understand because it presents itself as a media property, but it is equally a political machine. And um, what's the curious thing is that both the Republican Party and Fox News have had to learn that this power of resentment can be turned against them. How so? Well, that's what the, the court documents are about in the Dominion case, is they tell the story of how after the 2020 election, the power that Fox News had to grip its audiences in resentment was turned around and aimed at Fox because of the Arizona call, because there were people in the network who actually told the truth on television. And that caused a company crisis, which is so interesting to think about, Stephanie. If responsible journalism by a handful of Fox people resulted in a company crisis, that means the company is not a news company because giving truthful news actually was a big problem. So that's what the court documents are so uh, fascinating for, is this tale of, of the tables being turned on Fox. The court documents are also fascinating because they show that multiple hosts believed one thing, but were texting one thing, in fact, in many cases, ripping on Donald Trump, and then saying something completely different on television. Mm -hmm. Given that, how do you think this case is gonna turn out? Well, I think what's so fascinating about that is that sometimes we call Fox an opinion network, or we say that the, the opinion side, which is the primetime side, uh, is different than the news side. But in this case, um, we see that Fox isn't really even opinion journalism either because the r true opinion that uh, Fox hosts and leaders had about Sidney Powell, for example, about the, about the case for the election being stolen, they didn't believe any of that. Okay, then will they be able to say at the end of this, okay, fine, you got us, we're not news, we're just entertainment, and that'll just be embarrassing? Or will, they, or will there be multi-billion dollar consequences? Because only they will change things. Well, according to a lot of First Amendment lawyers, this case has the possibility of being a huge judgment against Fox. Why do you think this train derailment in East Palestine has so many on the far right so fired up? I mean, I saw Don Jr. today. Biden did nothing, they gave no money. All of it's absolutely false. Mm -hmm. And in fact, it was Donald Trump actively rolling back regulations when he was in office that possibly put us in the dangerous situation that they were in. Race. <laughs> they can make a, a race claim that 
because it's an area of the country that where white working class people predominate, uh, he's ignoring it. And it's, it's kind of an absurd argument, but it's perfect for resentment. All right, last question. These 44,000 hours of tapes that Kevin McCarthy has turned over to Tucker Carlson saying he promised to make them public. Well, and I'm making them public if you're just sending them to Tucker Carlson. Mm -hmm. But how, how worried are you? At the end of the day, could these just be a nothing burger like some of their dramatic hearings that make big headlines but result in nothing? I'm sure he'll get some outrage from it. He'll get some resentment <laughs> generated from it within the world of Fox. Uh, but I don't see it becoming a huge story, um, partly because he's confining the story to Tucker Carlson, which is a very weird way to release something that you really want out there. Good point. Jay, really good to meet you in person. Thank you so, so much. So good to be here. I appreciate it and all your work. <laughs>